Hi friends, I'm so happy to announce that my new collection of products, the Quintessential Conservatory, is now available at Craftstash. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use the largest die set and how you can complement it with other products from the collection. We are going to create a display box for small collectible items, so let's get started. Here is the largest and the main die set from the collection, called the Quintessential Conservatory die set. Here is how it fits onto an A4 magnetic sheet. It includes 16 dies and the largest one is 8 by 8 inches, so you will need a large die cutting machine. With this die set you can create a shape of the building, a conservatory, and you can change its appearance by mixing and matching the dies. I'm going for a neutral palette this time, so I'm going to use some white cardstock plus two shades of grey. To begin with, I'm going to die cut the largest panel out of the light grey color, and this is how it fits onto the A4 sheet of cardstock. I'm using my platinum die cutting machine. The plates are uh, 8.5 inches wide, so I'm building up the die cutting sandwich and I'm sanding it through the machine. So here we have the building shape with the glass roof and uh, the swirly pattern that is cut into the panel. And by the way, you can use the swirl cutouts on uh, various projects. Now let's make this gray background a little bit more fun by adding some texture. I'm going to be using this embossing folder with the brick pattern that is also the part of the new collection. This is A5 size, which is roughly 8 and a quarter inches by 6 and 3 quarters. I'm placing the panel inside like this and I'm sending it through my die cutting machine. This pattern is totally expandable, so I'm going to place my panel inside the folder one more time, like this, and I'm going to send it through my platinum again. So this is how the panel looks like at the moment, and now let's go ahead and add some windows and doors to it. The windows and doors are the part of the set and they have the plain outline as well as decorative insert. So I've die cut the outlines only out of the darker grey cardstock and then I combined the outline dine with the insert to die cut those shapes out of white. Then I'm going to stick down the white decorated shapes onto plain backgrounds using the liquid glue. This larger shape, which is the door, also has the scoring lines that are created by the die. So I'm bending the doors outwards slightly and then I'm applying the glue onto the outlines only and I'm sticking it down. Then I'm also going to stick down uh, both window images onto the backgrounds. Next I'll be attaching the windows and doors onto the background using the foam tape. I'm lining up the door with the bottom of the building and as for the windows you can either line them up with the bottom or with the top of the door or place them in the middle. You'll get a slightly different look each time. I have combined the largest die with a smaller outline to create an open frame out of white cardstock and this is going to be the front panel of my box. I have also die-cut this chandelier and a small chain out of silver mirror cardstock and this die is the part of interior panels die set from the same collection. I'm going to stick down the chain and the chandelier onto that open frame right in the center. 
This chandelier can work on its own, but it's also great for adding embellishments like gemstones or pearls. In this case, I'm going to stick down some half pearls of different sizes, and I'm using some liquid glue as well as the pickup pencil. The pearls are very lightweight, they are not going to deform the intricate die cut, but they are going to create a lot of texture. Next, I'm going to decorate the front panel with some potted plants, and I'm going to use some dies from a Plant Editions die set, also from this release. I've die cut the plants out of green pattern paper as well as out of white cardstock. Then I'm going to take the green die cuts and I'm going to trim off the pots from the plants. Then with a brown marker I'm going to color the soil area on white die cuts and this way I'm going to make them look a bit more realistic. And then I'm going to stick down the green leaves onto the white base. By the way, I decided to go with the paper piecing, but those dies are also great for coloring. So if you enjoy coloring, you can use various shades of green to color the leaves. You can also add blues and yellows. A lot of possibilities here. I'm going to repeat this process for all three potted plants that I have chosen from the set, and then I'm going to attach them onto the frame. So now I'm using the liquid glue to stick down uh, those potted plants on both sides of my frame, and you can either stick them right in front of the frame or tuck them behind. I'm combining the two versions. I'm not adding any more elements in the center, because I want those plants to frame whatever is inside the box and uh, not block the view. Now let's go ahead and assemble the box. It's very easy to do. You just have to die cut these two shapes, which are the sides of the box. They have thin tabs on both sides, and I have applied one eighth of an inch double sided tape onto them. There are also creasing lines that are created by the die, so they are very easy to fold. I'm peeling off the liner from the tab, and then I'm uh, lining up the bottom of uh, the box with the side, and then I'm sticking down the tab. I'm going to repeat the same process on the other side, and I'm making sure that the tab is behind the frame. I'm going to stick down uh, the other tab onto the background of my box. And this way I'm going to connect the front and the back. Next, I'm going to stick down the last tab, and my box is finished. It's a very simple shape, so I don't think you'll have any difficulties with putting it together. This box can be a great shape to build up a diorama. You just have to add more layers inside the box, and you can use the dice from the collection to do that. But this time I'm just going to use the box alone. I'm going to turn it into a display box for my favorite toys. They are Sylvanian family's toys or calico critters in the USA. You can also use this box for other collectibles like uh, ceramic figurines, succulents, cacti, or pretty much anything that is the right size to fit inside the box. I also think that you can even sell it to stores, because it is such a great way to attract maximum attention to whatever is in the box. By the way, this box can be folded completely flat, and it fits inside an A4 envelope or a plastic folder. 8.5 by 11 will also work. If you are using this box for a season only, you can use the plastic folders or envelopes to store it away. 
I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope I have given you some ideas on how you can use the dice from the Neuralees. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.